Hey guys, it's Zach from My Shire Farm. Uh, today we're going to do quail math part two, time to butcher. Um, so this is going to be how many quail you need to provide for your family uh, the quail meat. Um, we just did a video on quail egg production. Um, so we're going to use those numbers, which I'll recap. But before I do that, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm. Like and subscribe. Give us more ideas on what would help you on your journey with quail. And uh, we'll be happy to try to get it done. So going into it, um, we're going to use the same math we did as the first one for the egg production. So a recap of that is if you bought 50 eggs, if you incubated, you'd get 25 quail. Out of those 25 quail, 12 will be hens, you'll get 10 eggs a day, and that's 70 eggs a week. So that's the numbers we're basing this off of. Um, and so if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. And this video will make a whole lot more sense once you do. But going into it, uh, we are going to assume that uh, we're going to butcher at eight weeks. We're still going to assume a 50% hatch rate. We're gonna assume that two quail per person per meal. And for a family of four, that means it would be eight quail per meal or 32 quail a month. And that's the number you're gonna to wanna to remember. So we're looking to get 32 quail a month so that you can have one meal a month or one meal a week of meat. So we're gonna explain six meals a month on eggs and how to get four meals a month on meat for the quail of the 50 count box that you got. So, we already determined that you're getting 70 eggs a week. You're going to incubate those 70 eggs. Then you're going to start your timeline. This is where it gets a little tricky, but it is doable. And once you get on a rhythm, and a, 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 once you get on a rhythm, then you'll do just fine. Okay? So, you incubated 70 eggs. In two and a half weeks, they go into your brooder because they hatched. Again, we're assuming a 50% hatch rate, so that's 35 quail, okay? So here's the important part. When the quail and the brooder are two weeks old, you're going to incubate again, all right? Because that means when these hatch, these and the brooder will be four weeks old, which is old enough to go into your grow out pen. And these will go into your brooder. And then when these are two weeks old, you're going to incubate eggs, right? So then when you incubate these, the ones in your grow out pen will be ready to butcher. The ones in your brooder will be ready to grow out. And the ones that you incubated will be ready to go into your brooder. Then you'll wait two weeks and you'll repeat the process. So out of that 50 box of eggs that you got, you're getting 70 eggs a week, so you're gonna hold off of eating eggs for one week, and you're gonna incubate them, okay? So, the process recap is you're gonna incubate the eggs. They're gonna hatch in approximately two weeks. They're gonna go into your brooder. In two weeks, you're gonna start the incubation process again, which means these will be four weeks old when these hatch out. So then you're gonna move those to the grow out, you're gonna move the hatchlings to the brooder, and then you're gonna wait two weeks. Then you're gonna do it again. When these hatch, these will be four weeks old, they'll go to your grow out, these will go in, and then you'll just keep uh, repeating the process, which means you'll get 35 meal, or 35 quail meat a month to butcher, and we already determined that you only need 32 to provide for a family of four. So, out of that box of 50 count, that's how you can get six meals a month on eggs and four meals a month on meat. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.